We first started with mechanical switches for gaming keyboards and we popularized it through the entire gaming industry. Today, we've taken that a step further. We're now designing our own mechanical switches. We started with the green, to the orange, to the yellow, and now the Opto Mechanical Switch. The Razer Opto Mechanical Switch is unlike your traditional mechanical switch. When a key is pressed, a light beam passes through the switch to instantly send a signal to your computer. With the new Opto Mechanical Switch, we were able to align the actuation point and the clicky feel, so the signal is sent the instant you feel the tactile click. All this happens incredibly fast, and with an actuation distance of just 1.5 mm, 30% faster than any other clicky mechanical switch, you get the fastest possible response time ever in a clicky switch. The use of optical actuation also means there's zero debounce delay, so the second you hit a key, you see the action happen on your computer. And with no physical contact needed to actuate a command, your keyboard is durable for up to 100 million keystrokes, two times more than competing switches. This is truly the next evolution of switches. We want to make sure that we're always addressing the needs of esports athletes, of gamers, and of the community, and to make sure that we're always innovating. I've been using the Black Widow Tournament Edition since 2012, basically ever since Razer came up with it, and I've been loving it ever since. The most important thing about the Tournament Edition of the Black Widow to me is that it's so compact. Because you don't have the numpad, your mouse is much closer to the keyboard, which actually gives you a little bit better hand-eye coordination, and also it's just easier to travel with. I think the customizable lighting of the Chroma is really cool. If you want to learn a new hotkey setup, you know, you can just put all the keys in different colors, um, depending like if it's a macro uh, keys or if it's um, a micro or a control group. Really cool for somebody who's learning a new feature of a game. Naturally, because as a programmer you have to travel to go to a lot of tournaments, it's just very practical that the keyboard is not as big and also that you can detach the cable, because if you can't detach the cable, it could get damaged um, if you always have to wrap it up together with the keyboard. The Chroma is also the perfect toy for the gaming modding community. There's always people who find out cool things to do with things like that. Uh, I saw a video of somebody who made Snake, a game of Snake on the keyboard that he could play, and I think we're gonna see a lot of really creative things people are gonna come up with with the Chroma.